Good evening. By this time next month, we could be returning to some sense of normalcy. Today, state leaders announced new rules to reopen outdoor stadiums, ballparks, and theme parks across California by April 1st. But the county must meet certain conditions to do so, and we have team coverage on today's announcement and what you need to know. Fox 5's Liberty's Abolish starts us off live from East Village, where fans could be back in the stands for the Padres' highly anticipated season opener. Liberty. Well, lots of sports fans are excited. If we enter the red tier by opening day, that means that Petco Park could be filled up to 25% capacity, and many businesses nearby in this area are happy to welcome more fans and customers back. So this is for me. This is for my son. Padres fans wasted no time gearing up for opening day. The governor announced outdoor sports and live performances can return on April 1st. I think it's amazing. It, uh, it's, it's really good to have some normalcy back in our lives. And uh, I, I think this is great. This is awesome. Businesses near Petco are looking forward to welcoming fans and customers back. It's exciting. I mean, come this time or last year, it was really weird to, you know, kind of hear all the issues and then the shutdown. So it's really exciting this year to actually have some good news. Supervisor Jim Desmond sent a letter to the governor asking for the ballpark to reopen. He says its reopening will help bring jobs back inside and out of the stadium. The surrounding businesses nearby, you know, for parking and for, you know, perhaps dining, restaurants, foods, you know, some of those things are, 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 are going to be a boon for those businesses around Petco Park. The governor says stadiums must have significantly reduced capacity, mandatory masking, and other public health precautions. So I think by having it outdoors is one. Uh, social distancing is, you know, you know, the, the second thing, and of course, you know, wearing a mask, I think all that helps. The Padres also released a statement saying in part, quote, our number one priority is providing our fans with a safe and fun experience when they return to the ballpark. We have been diligently preparing to ensure that Petco Park is one of the safest places to be in San Diego this season. And the Padres' home opener will be against the Arizona Diamondbacks on April 1st. For now, in downtown, Liberty Zabala, Fox 5 News. Liberty, thank you. Another group looking forward to fans in the stands, the athletes themselves. Fox 5 Sports Director Troy Hirsch joins us around the table with their reaction to today's news. And Kathleen, the Padres opened the season on April 1st, as Liberty mentioned, at Petco Park. And when I broke the news tonight to Padres pitcher and Grossmont High School graduate Joe Musgrove, he had the same response as many excited Friars fans. The news just came out today that uh, California is going to allow uh, fans for opening day. Hey. Big news. I just wanted to get your reaction about it. Yeah. That. Yeah, it's exciting, man. I mean, um, we were talking about it the other day. It was kind of strange um, having the crowd noise last year. It was a constant, like, buzz of, of some kind of noise and whatnot. And uh, now that we're having some fans back, it's obviously, you know, way more exciting for us to have some actual interaction and, and a, uh, a realistic type environment. You know, it would have been a bummer to be here and not have, you know, the lug not be able to get to enjoy the luxury of having my family in the same city and getting to enjoy all that stuff. So um, I'm sure that'll be a real emotional day, not only for me, but for my family. Um, you know, my dad is is a diehard baseball fan. He kind of, you know, developed this love for the game that I have um, instilled it in me at a really young age. So. Um, this is kind of his his ideal situation is to get to watch his boy play at home and and uh, and get to come to regular games all throughout the year. So uh, they're very excited. and I'm excited as well. Yeah, I can tell the Padres say that season ticket holders will get priority as the first fans that come into as far as buying tickets. And if San Diego County can somehow get down to the yellow tier, we could see as many as 28,000 fans inside the stadium at Petco Park at some point through the season. Kathleen. All right, mask up. <laughs>